Do you know that you can make building materials out of plastic waste? On today's episode of Champions of Change, we visit Jenge makers as they show us how they collect, sort and turn this waste into construction material. Come with me. So we make building products made out of recycled plastic. The reason why we decided on building products is because we wanted to, to uh, provide a basic need. Because in Kenya and in Africa, we still have a need for the basics. And the reason why I also decided on construction is because uh, Africa is a growing market and there's a lot of construction happening. And so we felt that's a good reason because it will provide a practical reason to recycle plastic and for people to uptake it. We're stronger, cheaper, and lighter. Stronger, we are two to seven times uh, in terms of carrying capacity, it has two to seven times the normal concrete block. That's stronger. It's cheaper right now, we are playing almost at 5% low, but we, our goal is to go even lower, to about 20% cheaper, because this is a commodity and we want everyone to be able to use it. And lighter, it is almost half the weight. So therefore, during transportation, you can transport more for less. So we produce about 1,000 to maybe 12,000 pavers a day. That's an optimum. Um, but right now, in the process of redesigning a production process, that will ramp up to about 4,000 a day. At Jenge Makers, we recycle plastic to make our PV bricks, which are very strong. Mm -hmm. uh, when you can see here, these are plastics from a post, in the post, post consumer. The plastic, we take them from, a, we buy them from the dump site. That is the Andorra dump site. We collect them in, in tons. Kuna watu huwa na washindu wa katikani hapa tunafanya, wanashindu wa nini tunafanya. Lakini hizi mabamba tunaenda tukizichukua kwa insurance, tunakuja tunachagua maramingi. Kuna zile tunafanyua fibering zinarudi kwa magali. Zingine tunahizi zinakatakatua, zinaenda kukawa watu wanaenda wanasimia. Kuna hile kurite wanatakanga. Sasa ndo tunawachagulia, tunawawekea. Tuko watu wengi, sasa hili tulikuwa watu wa dogo, lakisa hili tuko na vijana wengi, sasa wamegile ikazi. Juhu wana nufaika. Hata wawa, sisi tulikuwa mbele na hawa, tunataka hata na hawa tuwaachie. For the plastics, we use uh, HDP plastic, mm -hmm. LDP plastic. So you have to be specific? Yes, there are specific plastics that we use. Uh -huh. These are the heavy plastics. Okay. Uh, not like the PET plastics, that are like the bottle water, that are PET. So mm -hmm. we don't use the PET. Mm -hmm. So once we get the plastics, uh, we, uh, we break them to small pieces, then I uh, bring them to the crushing machine. This is the crushing machine that we use to crush the plastics into small pieces. Okay. Yes. So the plastic gets inside here, then it comes uh, after a short time. So the crush machine that we have can crush 500 kgs in a day. So at this point, we will do the mixing of the plastic and sand. Mm -hmm. The mixing is done manually. Uh, this is sand and plastic. Okay. Remember, we mix at certain ratios. Mm -hmm. We also add the color master batch here at this point. Uh, when you are making a certain color of the product, because we make a, you can make a green color, the black color is always natural color. Let me ask you, this, why are you mixing yeah. it with the sand? The reason you mix it is to make, the, to make sure it's well mixed up. Uh, the plastic is like a binding when it comes to the eating, eating process mm -hmm. at, the, at the machines, the oh. extrusion machine. Mm -hmm. Now we come here to the, these machines. So the machine will eat, eat the, the raw materials at I high degree Celsius. Mm -hmm. The highest degree can be even 400. Like a, you can see this one is 400. Uh, the lowest can be 320 degrees Celsius. Hot. Very hot, mm -hmm. yeah. So we have uh, four ET chambers. The ET chambers will eat from one side to the other till the end. Mm -hmm. So at the end part, part, the product will come in a molten form. Or in
So after here, the product will come to the uh, cooling part. We also do cooling here, but this is the final cooling of the product. Mm -hmm. So after the cooling, uh, it, that takes four minutes. At this point, it can take even ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. Uh -huh. It will depend because if you can touch it, it is warm. Yeah. So after here, it will come to this part where you remove this, uh, this part. Mm -hmm. Even when you touch it, you can feel the warmth.